G'day viewers, I wanted to have another little ranty rant about something else that pisses me off. This time, it's creationism. Now, I'm not Richard Dawkins. I'm not going to tell you you're stupid just because you're religious. There's way too many smart religious people and way too many stupid atheists for that argument to make sense. You know, I actually grew up Catholic, went through a Catholic school, and I never had a problem with believing in the science of evolution. Uh, if you believe in something as complex and mysterious as God, uh, evolution is actually relatively straightforward, and a supreme being could easily have set a logical process in place. I'm not talking about intelligent design, because that is bullshit. That is just creationism being dressed up. Creationism is Bullshit. Pure and simple. Now, I'm going to give you a few key points. My starting point is an article that comes from the Scientific American magazine, and I'll provide a link for that. Uh, there's a lot of detail in that, and I won't bore you with the detail. I'll just go to some of their key argument points, how to shoot down creationist rubbish. One of the first ridiculous things creationists will say is, evolution's just a theory. They say it's the theory of evolution. They're not sure. That is just semantics. In science terms, theory does not mean they're not sure. Theory means something that's been clearly observed, logical conclusions have been drawn, and they are basically sure, okay? It's a theory in scientific terms, not a theory in, I'm not sure whether this is right or not. So even pushing that argument is just ridiculous. It's absolute crap. Another thing some creationists say when they're trying to sound all scientific is evolution's not a good theory because you can't test it in a lab. You can't prove or disprove it in a lab and nobody's seen evolution happen so it can't be true. Hey, I could drop a stinky silent fart in a room and you wouldn't see it but the evidence would be there that it happened. That's what scientists do. They look at evidence they draw a logical line of reasoning, and that's where the theories develop from, okay? Evolution is good quality science. Creationism isn't. Another thing creationists are prone to saying is, oh, more and more scientists doubt evolution, or even the scientists who are talking about evolution, they disagree about bits, so therefore evolution's not sound. You know what? There are no credible scientists doubting evolution. Something that I think was paid for by the Bush administration. They came up with 200 scientists who said they didn't believe in evolution. None of those scientists were in any way qualified to make a judgment. Just because they were qualified in a scientific field didn't give them any credibility in the field of evolution. And just for a laugh, like 200 sounds like a lot. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of scientists in the world and they could come up with 200 that they paid to say they didn't believe in evolution. Some more credible scientists came up with a bit of a joke they call the Steve Project, named after Stephen Jay Gould. They got a bigger list of scientists, all whose name was Steve, Stephen or Stephanie. That was their limit. They said, let's find scientists just whose name is Steve who believe in evolution. And their list is way longer than this bogus list saying they don't believe in evolution. Credible scientists do argue about some of the components of evolution and evolutionary theory because that's what good scientists do. They question. They continue to learn. The fact of actively questioning some of the aspects of a scientific theory actually shows the strength of scientific theory, not the weakness. Another thing evolutionists will say is, well, scientists can't prove how life started. No, they can't, but they've got some pretty good clues about nucleic acids and all sorts of funny little things like that, and they continue to explore. They don't go, I don't know the answer to this question now, so I'll stop thinking. Okay, look, if you want to stop thinking as soon as you don't understand something, knock yourself out. But don't interfere with science and the teaching of science because you can't be bothered thinking. Another thing creationists say when they think they're being all scientific is, well, if creatures evolved, why can't you show me something that's halfway between species on the way to evolution? 
What? You want us to bring something out that's like half dinosaur and half bird? Like an Archaeopteryx? It exists! There's in the fossil record a creature that's half dinosaur and half bird. As recent studies have shown, birds are way more closely related to dinosaurs than used to be thought. And so you say, look, here, an Ar Archaeopteryx. It's got dinosaur features and it's got feathers. And with some creationists, you show them an Archaeopteryx and they go, that, that's not evolution. Um, I want something that's half dinosaur and half monkey. I mean, you answer their question. There it is, a, a prime example of evolution. A transitional species between dinosaur and bird, and they still won't accept it. Where can you get with someone who won't accept a clear answer like that? Something else creationists are fond of saying, particularly the ones who choose the intelligent design flavour. They say, oh, life is too complex to have evolved, like something as complex as an eye, for example. You can't evolve an eye. What good's half an eye? And that can be proven wrong too. There are creatures alive today, some cave-dwelling salamander type things that have the rudimentary beginnings of an eye, but it's not a fully developed eye. It's capable of sensing light and it helps the creature orient itself towards light, but it's not a fully developed eye. That's evolution, people. Creation science is a contradiction in terms. It's an attempt to just stop people from thinking. Some really shallow, narrow-minded religious people think their position of authority is going to be undermined if the Bible is proven to not be literally true. Okay, like I said before, I have no problem with people being devout in their religious beliefs, but the Bible is not a factual document. It's like folk tales, people. If you want to take the good bits out and use them as a guide to living a productive life, go for it. But don't tread all over science. Science is not perfect. I think the people who take up atheism or science as their new religion, they're as misguided as any traditional religious seller. You know, think about it, people. There may well be flaws in the theory of evolution. We may make new discoveries that will put aside some previously held ideas. But you know what's not going to replace evolutionary theory, people? Creationism. Not going to happen. It's a load of bollocks.